guys in this video we are going to be looking at uh, creating alert dialogues so like an alert pop-up with a couple of options to press like an ok cancel I don't know help or something like that in uh, titanium so before that let me just quickly delete this uh, ti.api.info for width and height and um, in before my next video I'm just going to delete all these like uh, comments because I don't need them anymore and hopefully you already know that this basically means create a label and stuff okay so before this create button let's just cre delete this comment over here we are going to be creating an alert dialogue so let's say var and I don't know alert tie.ui.create oops create alert dialogue and the usual curly bracket uh, uh, brackets and then curly brackets and then the big board not big but board title is going to be uh, I don't know what could we do this alert dialogue for I don't know do you want to delete I don't delete selected or something like that like so and in the message which is going to be a non bold uh, text which is going to be displayed OCD kicking in message is like I don't know uh, this process this is you can't get your you can't get it back oops you cannot get it back I don't know uh, and we need the names of the options which is like buttons and we are going to have this square brackets yep and let's just say okay that's fine and cancel now you see when I press my uh, colon not colon what, the, what am I talking about a single quote thing it automatically dis uh, adds the start colon and the end colon and the what do you call it the text flashing uh, straight line thing is going to be between so whenever I press colon all I need to do is just write stuff and it automatically is inside the colon cause uh, this IDE is quite clever and it does quite a lot of uh, automatic stuff so let's just you know, help like so and the last thing we're going to do is because in most uh, dialogues we have this uh, cancel thing so we need to actually say that which we need to actually uh, say which uh, button is the cancel message so we are going to write a cancel and we need to say which number is it now in programming uh, all the numbers start from or numbers start from zero you count from zero so this ok is going to be zero cancel is going to be one and help is going to be two so in this case it's going to be one and don't forget your semicolon at the end now after that let's give it some space we have the alert which we created here and just right below that we are going to create an uh, event listener so alert dot add event and as you can see it's already uh, doing what do you call it it's like what was that again uh, suggestion that's it and if I tab it's going to automatically complete your writing thing for us and we are going to write brackets and just like when we added our button event clicker button event listener let's just create a uh, name it click and function e and then after that we are going to add stuff inside now normally inside here when you're actually creating a real uh, app that does something when you press ok cancel and help you want to say when that user pressed ok which is button uh, zero we want you to in this case because the titles delete we want to delete this and when we say help we we say when the user pressed that button two we want you to display this help documentation and so on but for now because we don't yet have the knowledge to do all that all the time 
because I want to keep this a short video tutorial series uh, we are just going to use the knowledge we have right now which in this case I'm going to use this title.api.info and display the what do you call it the button that the user pressed over here okay so uh, one sec let me just quickly go over here and say dot info and what we need to write is oops not over here e dot index now I won't go into much details however what this means is that we have this function e and then when that gets called back to when this add event listener uh, this gets called back this e has information on uh, what happened and basically what this does and one of them is dot index and what this does is basically it knows which uh, button number the user has pressed so what it does is the title api.info is going to display the number of the button pressed 0 1 or 2 into our console just so that we know that the alert dialog is working now if i go down to my button dot add event listener and delete this title api.info like so what we want to do is have this button to when i press on it display the alert button okay so uh i go over here and say alert dot show so we have the uh variable alert which creates the alert dialog and we want it to show up when we press the button and the usual brackets with nothing inside and that's it let's save our work and press run on our iphone simulator and i always have no idea what i should talk about when i have this like 10 20 seconds of not 20 but 10 seconds of free time to wait for this ios simulator to load because i can't uh just like stay silent like so but then when i ramble about all these random stuff uh the iphone simulator actually displays so it's good life's good oh and this actually has look the new notification thing although this is iphone 3s display i think iphone 3s didn't have this or oh, the ios 3.3 point something didn't have it wasn't this display wasn't this from iphone 4 yeah i think so um, i i don't have an iphone so i'm not sure i've got an ipod touch and an ipad okay enough let's click and there we go we have this alert dialog with the title do you delete selected blah delete selected and we have a message you cannot get it back and we have either okay cancel help if i press cancel it's going to say info one because i press the second one in the button names and if i press ok it's going to say zero and if i press help it's going to say two like so so uh this uh alert dialogue is really useful like the example i used we can actually have a number of i don't know uh information like archived stuff i don't know like your deleted inbox if you want to create like a mail app and we can have this uh we can instead of click me we can say delete and it says delete selected you cannot get it back and you have like okay cancel oh oh my god i have no idea what i pressed help and it's going to display like this i don't know beginner uh app instructions which will say when you press delete it means that it's going to delete all the selected emails that you don't or messages that you don't want anymore and you can get it back because it's going to get deleted in our system slash server and you can't get it back because we don't have that uh option and there we go that's the alert dialog it's really really useful uh i use it all the time when i create like or play around with uh apps and new features that i start learning so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video